wasn't happy about, but at the same time, I knew it meant a lot to him. And the sport was progressing, and and um, you know he was now the new champion, and he looked great that year. And that was about it. You took a year off before you decided to come back. What was your mindset? And how was your body responding? You know what? I, I had kind of stepped away and thought, okay, I had planned to retire after winning my fifth title, which. I think I could have done if I didn't tear my bicep. And I was going to plan on walk away, focus on some business opportunities. And I actually pursued those business opportunities, thought in no case I'd ever come back and compete. I decided to give it a go in 2013 and come back and compete one more time. I just didn't have a lot of time to prepare. I was traveling, building a supplement brand, living on a bus half the time, and touring the country. And uh, I did come back, and I just wasn't able to be at my absolute best. I finished sixth place, which is the worst I've done in you know, over 12 years. Uh, but, you know, I got up there for the fans. I competed healthy, and that was the more important thing. I decided to walk away at that point. Yeah, I mean, it teaches you a lot. And you know, because you live the lifestyle, and when you're competing, it's training for competition, focus, everything, every meal counts, and every training session counts. And, Obviously now that's not our goal is to stand on competition stages, but to focus on life and not only business, but time with your family and friends. I think that becomes more of an important thing, especially someone that, you know, gets later in life and you kind of enjoy those moments because I know getting ready for bodybuilding shows for the 20 plus years that I did it, I pushed time along because I just wanted to get up on stage and compete. So if I started training for four months, I couldn't wait for those four months to be over to compete and be able to get through the process and going somewhat back to business and normal life. And now I've adjusted to be able to focus, you know, mainly on business and trying to enjoy and travel and, and do things. Now when I come to these events, I try to stay a little extra time and see a little bit of the places that I that I might be attending and enjoy the cultures a little more, which I didn't do a lot when I was training and competing uh, for the Olympia title. So to say that. The career was definitely a sacrifice. It set me up for the times now that I'm able to enjoy those things and give back more to what has given me the opportunity to be who I am and be recognized.